Well, this weekend we have a female buddy cop movie and a ridiculously mindless remake of Olympus Has Fallen. It's going to be a good weekend. Now let me start off with White House Down. You know, White House Down, like I said just now, is really a mindless remake of Olympus Has Fallen. And I really mean that. I mean, really. Because this one thing here is, you know, the story. I mean, it's supposed to deal with, you know, Shane Tatum, who's this guy, you know, who's trying to prove something worthy of himself, you know. You know, he's trying, and you know, when these terrorists, you know, start to break into the White House and all that, you know, about to take over it, you know, he does, you know, he does the unthinkable, you know, and he tries to prove himself worthy. And really, this movie doesn't really express that way at all, really. It's just mindless action fun. I'm not even kidding. You know, the story, really, you can walk in this mo movie and expect a story. You're not going to get it, okay? Basically, you know, like I said, it is mindless action. That's all this is, you know. You know, all the characters, you know, they, you know, they don't really deliver a purpose to the story, you know. It, it has nothing to do with that. You know, here's the thing, you know, because this movie's directed by Roland Emmerich, and he's done, he's, he's made good movies, he's made bad movies. He's made movies like Independence Day, uh, The Patriot, the Day After Tomorrow, 2012, and probably the one of the worst movies I've ever seen, 10,000 BC. Now, sorry, I got a fly on me. But like I said before, you know, I mean, he's made good movies, he's made bad movies, you know. And but the the thing with him, you know, he's kind of like um, like not somewhat like a Michael Bay, but to an extent, you know, he is, you know, like fully action loaded and all that, you know. He goes for all the action, you know, but. I mean, he tries to tell stories, well, at least he did in some of his movies, but this movie, it honestly can probably take a resemblance of a, you know, soft, softened, like, Michael Bay movie, honestly, and I mean that with every aspect of my heart. I mean, really, that's the way this is, you know. It's kind of odd comparing Roland Emmerich to Michael Bay, but all they do is like to bring explosions out, you know, and just make, try to have that cool effect, but without having to tell a story. These guys do it like champs, and really, it's not that impressive, so to say. I mean, White House Down, it's a fun movie, you know, if you're only into the mindless action. If, let me just say this. If you go into this movie expecting a story, you know, and delivering a purpose at all with its great action, you're, you're not going to get that. You're just going to get the great action. If you go into this movie, you know, not caring about, you know, not caring about anything, you know, just wanting to see, you know, everything just kind of break down, let all the action flow then you're gonna get, you're definitely gonna get it in this movie, you know. It's kinda hard to kinda rate that movie, you know. Cause you would, th cause you would think, you know, like a mindless action movie would probably be dumber than that. But honestly, in a way, it was fun for me. But still, you know, with all of its flaws, you know, the fact that it doesn't tell a story and it doesn't, you know, deliver any purpose whatsoever other than the fact that saying that Olympus Has Fallen did try to make a story, you know, it's just, you know, you, you know, you know what I mean, right? Probably not. But anyway, you know, like I said before, you know, mindless action thriller, you know, same movie, you know, like Olympus Has Fallen. This is like, this is kind of like back in 2011 when they had two movies, you know, No Strings Attached and Friends with Benefits. It's just like that the same year, except it's all about terrorists taking over the White House. And it's really odd. And I figured Roland Emmerich would actually make this first rather than, um, than the guy who directed Training Day to go first. Sorry, I cut myself again. But, like, okay, but let me get down to the rating. I give this movie a 5, okay? A straight-up hard 5, you know? Bad storytelling, but I give it a 5 for its fun. One thing, you know, you have to give these movies credit for, you know, these types of movies is that they are, you know, their purpose is to be kind of fun, you know? And Roland Emmerich does that like a champ, but when you can't tell a great story at all, it loses its feel, you know? But, like I said before... I'm not personally telling you not to go see this movie in any way, shape, or form, but, you know, like I said before, if you're into mindless action movies and you don't care about how the story is, then this is the movie for you. If not, then, if you care, if you want a storyline, then don't go see this movie, okay? But, you know, you know, yeah, that's about it. Now, let me start with my next movie, The Heat. Like I said before, also, it's uh, probably the, I think it's the first female buddy cop movie. I don't know of any other female buddy cop movies before. I know movies, you know, kind of like Lethal Weapon and Beverly Hills Cops, you know, stuff like that. But never really, um, something like The Heat, you know. And let me just say, you know, director, I think it's Paul Feig or whatever, he directed a movie, you know, he directed Bridesmaids two years ago, 
And honestly, that movie was so funny, you know? It was a great movie. I was honestly surprised to have liked that movie. Because I'm not really into all, like, you know, the chicks movies. I, well, I mean, I, it's not really a chick flick movie, but it's kind of like those movies, movies that chicks override everything, you know? But I ended up, ended up walking out of this movie enjoying it. But though, The Heat, it did somewhat remind me of Bridesmaids, the fact that it can be ridiculously funny and crazy. But this movie didn't necessarily deliver it like Bridesmaids did. You know, this movie is funny, you know, it has great moments. Melissa McCarthy is definitely, is makes up the whole movie. She is really funny in this movie, you know. She, she's kind of like on an identity thief, how she steals, how she steals all of her lines in a sense and makes the movie better in a sense. And she really does that well with the heat and I really respect her for that. Sandra Bullock's good in this movie and there are some other great, there are some other good characters and then there are some other boring characters, but they still make this movie very funny. Now, you know, the one thing, you know, this movie is very long for a comedy. I mean, like two hour, like about a two hour long comedy. That's kind of like an extent to me, unless, you know, it's like, it's just like amazing, like this is the end, you know, or something like that. But it wasn't, you know, as good as that. But, you know, my point is, you know, sometimes the movie kind of, you know, stretches a little bit, you know, you kind of feel like, you kind of, you know, you kind of feel like you want this movie to end, but it never is going to, is never going to. It's still distracted by its ridiculous funniness, which is also kind of like how White House Down had, you know, it had its really unnecessary funny moments. The Heat kind of had a little bit of that, but not too much to where it got, where it throws the story off. It has some, but the, other than that, most of the humor kind of relates into the story, and it really is funny. I was also surprised, the pale, this pale white dude, I don't know his name at all, but he, I knew he looked familiar, and I found out that he was actually one of the characters from Twilight. And he's the villain in this movie. He was really good in this movie. You know, I mean, he's not necessarily funny, so to say, but he played a pretty good villain for what it was worth and for what I thought about him. So I think this guy's really starting to earn a little bit of my respect as long as he starts staying away from any more Twilight heartthrob type movies, you know. Other than that, he'll be in good shape. He was really good in this movie, you know. But like I said before, it's really Melissa McCarthy that makes the movie, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter what any other characters are. Melissa McCarthy makes this movie. That's kind of one problem with this movie. You know, you can't have this movie sort of rely on, you know, um, just one character. I mean, like take Dark Knight, for example. I mean, I know people say that Heath Ledger stole the show, which he did. But though he always, but though he always had people to back up on, you know, like, you know, how the story went and how the characters interacted. You know, he had people to follow up on that. And not, you know, and when you put, you know, Heath Ledger stole the show, you know, you have something to fall back on. You know, this movie didn't really do that so much. It did a little bit, but not so much. But for what it is worth, it's a it's a funny female buddy cop movie. I give this movie a 7, you know. This movie's enjoyable to watch. I'm really surprised. It was way more enjoyable than watching Identity Thief, you know, and movies and other buddy cop movies that I've seen, you know, before. But this one's but this one was funny. This one was great, you know, and well, it's not really great. It's good, but, you know, you know what I mean, right? Okay, well, that's my review for this week, you know. Hopefully, I won't get busy with any other vacation plans like I said before, you know. I think I will be busy this next week and probably do a late review, but hopefully by, th but hopefully by then I will catch up and start keeping back up, with, you know, today with other movies and all that crap, you know. But like I and then also like always before, you know, if you want me to review any of the movies, any of the movies at all, let me know in the comments below. And also, I want to I want to get your opinion on this, you know. You know, White House Down and Olympus Has Fallen. You know, like I said, you know, two of the same movies, you know. One that does Olympus Has Fallen that does tell a story and then White House Down that just is mindless, you know, like I said before, you know. Which one of those movies do you think was better? Which one was better, Olympus Has Fallen or White House Down? Whatever you think, let me know in the comments below. And, you know, and if you do, like I said, any other movies, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, tell all your friends, and adios amigos. I hopefully get this right this time. So, bye-bye.